Okay, our next step is to create new part setup and make uh, machining on the other side of the part. So I have already created setup stage, which can be created like here, structure setup stage. So let's recalculate the toolpath. So and now I will create new setup stage. Okay, you can remember that in the beginning I told that I will not create the setup stage first and I will create it when I need it. So we don't make a user to make some unnecessary clicks. So, but now when I need my setup stage 2, I have created uh, setup stage 1 first. And you can see that all the setup parameters which were defined in my initial setup were copied from the machine to my setup stage so now the all the setup is defined in this setup stage one so here i have setup stage two which is now empty so first of all i need to define the uh, workpiece position so on the setup stage two i choose workpiece setup press this button and turn my uh, workpiece 180 degrees like this Okay, and move it inside the chuck like this. Okay, good. And the last thing I need to, not last, but very important, I need to change Joe's position like this. So I need to record new Joe position here because here it has still has the position from the previous setup. So with double click, on this field I can see that now my Joe position is fine and the last thing for the setup is to define new WCS so you can see that its number has been increased uh, automatically and I will just click and drag it here uh, to the part face like this so please make sure that your smart snap is enabled that's good Okay, our setup is ready for the new operations.